Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I gotta do it, man. Dude. Oh. Greed. Greed runs rampant in any industry you can think of. Movies, music, television, radio, video games. Greed is what makes the world go round. Because what is the point in waking up the next day if you don't plan on getting what you want at the expense of others and some of yourself? The world of entertainment has shifted, and unfortunately, there is much more of a heavy focus on milking consumers for every penny they have, rather than making a product that has an impact. One of my favorite games growing up was Call of Duty Black Ops, the original of course, a game that set out to be the most ambitious first person arcade shooter of its time. There were no microtransactions, only a season pass that offered more content if you really enjoyed the game. But as each Black Ops game came out, they became more and more successful. This of course means that the microtransactions became worse and worse with each outing. BO2 had purchasable camos and a season pass. BO3 had gambling loot boxes with pay to win weapons, as well as as a season pass, and BO4 had an in-game store that updated daily, loot boxes with pay to win weapons, weapon bribes, and a season pass on top of that. The games focus far more on profit over quality. Anyways, I'll get back to this point soon, but a few months ago, I uploaded a video discussing Left 4 Dead 3 and why I believed it would be a failure if it was released today. That video has now become my most successful video, but thanks to some of the comments, I was able to see a new perspective on my argument. Those so many of those comments are quite possibly the most brain dead and thoughtless takes I've ever read in my life. Some were rather eye opening to how Valve treats their games. A lot of people pointed to CSGO and how respectful they treat that IP. I counter that argument by reminding you guys that CSGO has the most outrageous gambling scene in all of gaming. But a more valid point was their recent release of Half-Life Alex. I myself have never played any game in the Half-Life franchise, but from what I hear, Half-Life 3 should be releasing any day now. Okay, so jokes aside, that is my point exactly. Half-Life Alex was a passion project made by a team who care about the vision of their product. They made that game because they wanted to, not because they needed to please shareholders or reach a specific amount of income. There was no bottom line. Valve has the ability to print money, essentially. They could make another Team Fortress and make millions. They could make another Portal and make millions. They could make another Half-Life or even another Left 4 Dead, and they choose not to. They completely avoid all of this money that they could just get for free. Unlimited GTA Real Life money glitch. But why? Why does Valve avoid this? Like I said previously, I read every single comment on my last Left 4 Dead video, and a lot of the points people were making were completely valid and sometimes even proved my arguments wrong. But one thing nobody thought to mention, not, not even myself, was the legacy of these games. When I mentioned earlier that games no longer focus on making an impact, rather they focus on money and greed, Valve has proven that money is not the driving factor in their decision to develop a game. When Half-Life released, they took the world by storm for their immersive world building, unique story, and gameplay that was ahead of its time. They expanded upon that in Half-Life 2 and let the series rest on its own. Despite the fact that Half-Life 3 would be one of the most profitable games of our generation, they still refuse to even risk tainting the legacy of the original games for a quick buck. Why would Left 4 Dead need a new installment when the impact that the game had at launch is still being felt in gaming today? Left 4 Dead set the standard for co-op zombie game experiences. They set the standard for an open level design game with completely unscripted gameplay. Left 4 Dead is what every co-op zombie adventure adventure game strives to be. I look at Left 4 Dead 2 as a classic among all video games. I look at it the same way I see the movie Back to the Future. Back to the Future is one of the best films of all time. The setting, the cast, the visuals, the story, all of it, it's, it's, it's perfect, okay? It's, it's, it's as good as it's gonna get. And no matter how hard they, they tried, they could never make a new Back to the Future that is as perfect as the original. If they reboot the franchise or make a sequel set in modern day times, it doesn't matter because the magic that they captured simply just cannot be replicated. Left 4 Dead is a simple game. It's perfect. It was so ahead of its time that there are so many games that are still playing catch up to this day. But the perfection of Left 4 Dead 
2 happens to be a third installment's biggest issue. You can't perfect perfection. Something that's already peak cannot get any better. That leads me to why I believe Left 4 Dead 3 will never happen. Why even bother making a game that can't Im improve upon perfection? Why bother making a game that can't live up to the hype no matter how hard you try? Why make a game that can't have the same or bigger impact that the previous title had? The only excuse that I could give about why they would make this sequel is greed. As I said before, greed makes the world go round. We always want a sequel, but most sequels are just there to artificially replicate the high we once felt, to bring in and maximize profit. I mean, hell, this video wouldn't have happened without the success of the last one. But I don't get paid from YouTube, so lol, ribozo, fuck you. Valve knows that they have lightning captured in a bottle, but they haven't even bothered to try and replicate it. I believe that Valve knows the legacy that Left 4 Dead has, and that any new release can tarnish it no matter how much it sells, and they all would rather take pride in their legacy than sell out the same way that the Black Ops series has, than to sell out to their own fans. What we want doesn't matter to them, because they already gave us what we wanted over a decade ago. Not everything needs to be updated constantly, or modernized for a new audience, but just like Back to the Future, Left 4 Dead is a timeless classic that will never die because it never stopped living. Left 4 Dead is still home to over 30,000 players on a daily basis. With that being said, I don't think Left 4 Dead 3 needs to ever release. I don't think that Valve ever needs to release that game at all. They shouldn't even start development because no matter how hard they try, they can't recapture the same impact that Left 4 Dead 2 had. There is nothing to improve upon. The game is as good as it's gonna get and it's provided us with over a decade worth of memory. There's no point in asking for something better because truth be told, there isn't anything better. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Special thanks to my buddy Meow for putting this uh, video together while I'm visiting a friend in Florida. His channel will be linked in the description as well as uh, the pinned comments. Go shoot him some love for me if possible. With that being said, here's to hoping that Valve does give Left 4 Dead 2 the CSGO 2 visual treatment, but I doubt it. And until next time everybody, piss off.